You know, I always thought it was funny that Terriamon had the distinction of basically being the only Digimon not in the main cast of Digimon Adventure 02 to be able to armor Digivolve in the Digimon Adventure anime canon. Obviously, outside of that canon, we've seen other random Digimon armor Digivolve. And with now many movies connected to the adventure continuity, some specifically tied to 02, I wanted to see what it might look like if more movie Digimon could armor Digivolve. <laughs> Digital Companions, my name is Khan EX and welcome back to another custom art video. And yesterday we are giving Armadige Evolutions to some, basically all, the adventure movie Digimon. And this video was made possible thanks to my Deva Artbringer and Sovereign Level patrons over on patreon.com forward slash Khan EX. Hi Laren, ZDK14, GW, Mickey D343, and Tarapin. Thank you so much for letting me bring these videos to life. I do appreciate it. If you want to join them or just become a patron in general, you don't have to become an Artbringer tier. Artbringers directly pay individually for a piece of art, so you can just become a patron for early access to main channel and second channel videos, exclusive videos, which I'm working on the first one of those, I guess the second of those this month, and a bunch of other rewards, so it would mean the absolute world to me if you did go check out patreon.com forward slash can't ex, no sponsor on this video, because we have Deva Artbringers, how cool is that? And Sovereign ZDK14. So I'm talking specifically about Digimon that kind of acted like the partners of New Digi Destined in the adventure movies, Terriamon and Lopmon and Willis, Morphamon and Menua, etc. There are other Digimon that are kind of exclusive exclusive or primarily appearing in those movies, like Caramon's line, but I'm thinking more specifically if those new Digi Destined got to armor Digivolve like in Zero Two, and indeed Hurricane Touchdown with Willis, and indeed even how we've explored for the Adventure cast before. But in order for us to go back to the beginning, we're gonna start with the most recent movie, Digimon Adventure Zero Two The Beginning, and Ukomon, the partner of Louis, both of which, wow, have just become so useful in the card game, huh? So that's given them some legitimacy, I guess. I'm gonna avoid spoilers on Zero Two The Beginning, itself. The only things you're going to see discussed here are things you saw already in the posters and trailers, so I'm not going to like spoil anything that happened because I still haven't watched it. But it's clear that Louis and Ukomon from the trailers, from the posters, have a dark, tragic past of some kind. And given I've used the Digi Egg of Darkness to armor Digivolve the Zero Two cast before, I figured it was appropriate their newest member, I guess, would also be able to access that dark Digi Egg in the Khan EX canon. While the Digi Egg of Darkness in the Wonder Swan games was not used to armor Digivolve, I think it really should have been. And so, Ukomon Ukomon Dark Armor Digivolves to Lofimon, drawn by Rubix. I thought the aquatic theme of Ukomon was well set up to connect to the Digi Egg of Darkness, and indeed I even suspected Ukomon might relate to the Dark Ocean and Dagomon in my theories before Zero Two The Beginning came out. Merging the egg and the Digimon though was a pretty tough ask, and I think Rubix did fantastically. The sort of globe of the Digi Egg forming the light of the Anglerfish style design, and indeed Lofimon's name comes from Lofi forms, the order Anglerfish belong to. One of my core requests for Armor Digimon is that somehow, even if stretched and elongated, you can see the original Digimon underneath, and Ukomon is certainly still in there, just now turned into a destructive, slashing, and biting beast from the deep. And this connection to the ocean is of course informed by the fact that Ukomon itself is likely based on sea angels. Lofimon has been consumed by darkness, turning that power into a razor-sharp armor that helps it sail through the digital world oceans, where it indiscriminately lures in prey to consume them with its freakish maw. Beware this siren is a portend of evil, and it can hypnotize you with its light of the end before ripping you to shreds. Moving backwards, Digimon Adventure Last Evolution Kizuna featured Morphomon, the partner to Menua, who has a tragic story. This is a recurring theme. And I brought all trade on board to armor Digivolve it, and we agreed love would be an interesting armor to explore for Morphomon and Menua, specifically how love can turn cruel and twisted, similar to Sethmon's reference book stating its love became too powerful and turned to hatred. All of the terrible things Menua does in Last Evolution Kizuna are because of that love she had for Morphomon that was tragically taken from her. So Morphomon love armor Digivolves to Lonomon, getting its name from Lonomia, which are a species of moth famed for their venomous caterpillar stage. I also liked how Lono kind of sounds like loner or lonely, which Menowa herself would be after what happened to Morphomon, and indeed Lonomon would likely be a result of another of Menowa's toxic love experiments. An armor Digimon using Morphomon, Aosmon data, and a stolen Digi Egg of love to make the most toxic love moth you've ever seen. All Trade also tried to take inspiration from Morphomon evolutions we've created before, like Butterfly Dramon, and I think it's come together well. You can see the headpiece and wings evoke the Digi Egg as seen in Halsamon, but the Morphomon body is reconfigured to something new but still familiar. Watch out for Lonomon's toxic dust that it spreads from its wings. For Digimon Adventure Try, I kind of split up the thought process as to how these kids could have armor Digivolution, and the three I'm going to focus on are Tapirmon, Bearmon, and Meikumon. We know Tapirmon and Bearmon 
belong to Maki and Daigo, the original Digi Destined, whose Digimon became the Digimon Sovereign. I'm not gonna do the other kids because technically we never saw them with Rookie Digimon. We didn't really get a good idea into their personality or anything like that. So focusing on Daigo and Maki, on Bearmon and Tapirmon makes sense to me. We also know the Digimon Sovereign are intrinsically linked to the Armor Digi Eggs in Digimon Adventure Zero Two and Adventure Canon. So perhaps in this AU or just we didn't see it, during their time as children in the digital world, their Digimon could Armor Digivolve or at least do something like a proto Armor Digivolution. We'll begin with Tapirmon, whose partner Maki to me shares a lot of similarity with Ken, both having tragic partner situations, a traumatic childhood in the digital world, and a relation to the Dark Ocean. As such, I thought it made sense that her Tapirmon would use the Digi Egg of Kindness to Armor Digivolve, becoming Ponymon, drawn by HLR. I did struggle whether to go with our refined ideas of kindness from our fixings video here, or to go with the existing theme. Cartoonish, kid gloves, cute with reds and pinks, and I think HLR compromised it in a beautiful way, creating something a little girl would dream up, and let's not forget the bond to their partner and the child's hopes and dreams are hugely important to Digimon. Maki's Tapirmon transformed into a not so little pony for Maki to ride, pet, and take care of. A true envoy of kindness. But the rosebud theme of the Digi Egg isn't lost here as its horse armor is evocative of rose petals. I just think it makes so much sense for a young Maki and is something very different and very Digimon. A kind protector, Ponymon canters to wherever it is most needed. The heady aroma it emits calms and brings peace to any who inhale it. But it can kill with kindness where needed, with its hoof heart stamp. As for Daigo's Bearmon, well, again, I like the idea of him being an original Digi Destin connected to Sovereigns and Armor Digi Eggs. Daigo really, in my opinion, would be the Ty or Davis of his group of Digi Destin, so it makes all the sense in the world he would be able to access Courage Armor Digivolution. And as such, his Bearmon, Courage Armor Digivolves to Helarctomon, drawn by Soru. I chose the name Helarctomon coming from Helarctos, the genus name for the Sun Bear. And I mean, what is a Courage Crest Bearmon armor if not a sun bear after a fashion. And that connection between bears, the sun, and indeed the moon is present in the design here with this kind of crescent on its head. The vibes here are very much flame Dramon, but are also very reminiscent of a popular Bearmon slash Grismon mega, Marsmon, which I love. Soru absolutely nailed the armor here. You can see the Bearmon underneath. And I love how the Courage armor manifests in such a familiar way while still having tons of unique touches. It's like the perfect third to stand alongside flame Dramon and shade Dramon as peak examples of Courage Armor. A strong leader Digimon, Helarctomon has the strength of a bear and the courage of a dragon. Its signature move is the Ursa Rocket. So that brings us to our final try armor of course, Meikumon. The tragic Meikumon clearly act as a mirror to Gatomon, a champion level cat that becomes more humanoid, the two even merging together during try. So it was very tempting to give her the Darkness Digi Egg like we did with Ukamon. However, I wanted Mei and Meikumon to have some brief levity to match and be lent power from their friends. Gatomon and Kari. So either in an AU or if Meikumon gets to return one day, or just at some point before everything went so terribly, terribly wrong in Try, Meikumon would access the Digi Egg of Light to become Akmon. Once again drawn by Rubix, Rubix was inspired by the Ak Bars, a traditional Bulga symbol depicting what appears to be a winged snow leopard. This fantasy animal was chosen to help mirror the Sphinx and Egyptian basis of Nefertimon, Gatomon's light armor. I adore how this came out. As required, you can 100% see the Meikumon underneath but I'm also fond of how Rubik's created this big floofy snow leopard that still retains the important elements of the Digi Egg and Crest of Light. It's a holy snow leopard. Much like our Bearmon armor, it also creates a great trio alongside Pegasusmon and Nefertimon. I can just picture it being ridden by May as all the Zero Two kids return and use their vehicle style armors with her. Damn, RIP. Akmon is a noble and ferocious defender of the light. Sliding freely, it's also a very proficient land runner. Emissaries of Evil, beware, it's Snow Light Claw. And finally, Finally is Digimon the movie slash Hurricane Touchdown. Wait, Khan, didn't Terriamon Golden Armor Digivolve in that movie? Yes, but Willis has another partner. I've always, always been curious what would happen if Willis, our only kid not from the main cast to access Armor Digivolution in the anime media, got to use his Digi Egg of Destiny on his other partner, a redeemed and reborn Lopmon. Inside media, Lopmon has Golden Armor Digivolve before, but it's always just to Golden Rapidmon, reusing the Armor Digivolution for Terriamon. Well, that's not good enough, damn it! We presents Antilamon Armor, drawn by some guy 944 Yeah, I've just always wanted to see this. My logic was that if Terriamon became Golden Rapidmon, and we know Terriamon's conventional ultimate level, like in Tamers, is a non-Golden Rapidmon, that a Golden Antilamon should also exist. And that's exactly what this is. Clad in Golden Destiny Armor with an Antilamon slash Lopmon underbody, I think some guy 944 absolutely delivered. I love how he took Antilamon being able to turn its hands into 
axes and anti them on armor instead with had full on gauntlets with axes on them, allowing it to attack with the axe, but still use its fingers for dexterous or slashing capabilities, making it potentially stronger and more powerful than its non-armored version. A long lost golden warrior, Antilamon armor is a shining example of the power of redemption. Its signature moves are the golden mantra where its golden armor toughens and creates a barrier all around it, and shining blades where it employs every spike and blade on its body for a devastating finish. And that is it, all of our new movie armor digivolutions. Lofimon, Lonomon, Ponymon, Helarctomon, Akmon, and Antilamon armor. Please do go follow all the artists who did such wonderful work on this video, and please consider becoming a patron over on patreon.com forward slash EX. I would like to be able to do more ambitious art projects, but I've got a lot more IRL costs these days than I used to. So the support of patrons really does mean that we can make the things that you as a community wants to see. And again, if you can't afford to become a Dave or an art bringer, I know times are hard for everyone right now. Just liking the video, leaving a comment, or if you've got a couple of bucks spare, becoming a lower tier patron on patreon.com forward slash Khan EX also means the world to me. Thank you to my patrons, of course, my sovereign ZDK14, as well as everyone else who supports me on patreon.com forward slash Khan EX and my channel members here on YouTube. You guys are amazing too. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time when we go digital. Bye-bye.